Ever since putting the cowl hood on, I know I lost some aero performance on the front of the car. And I know a lot of that is due to high pressure zone on the windshield, pushing air into the cowl and creating lift on the hood. So I wanna seal off and do an actual functional cowl induction where the, only the air coming in the cowl is going into the engine and all of the hot engine air and stuff coming off of the radiators is gonna go out some vents. And I got some vents up here on the hood already. I got two more big ones to add on the sides just to let a little more pressure out. Because at Road America a couple weeks ago, I was noticing that the front of my fenders were pushing out a little bit uh, during the high speed sections of the track. So I know there's pressure being built up. So we want to let that pressure out. It'll let the cooling air out that way also. And we make sure that we can get nice fresh cold air into our engine. I don't really have a plan here. I'm just going to kind of go for it. Because it just it seems like it's going to be real complicated with getting it to fit in the hood real nice, especially because that's kind of a it's still curved here before it goes flat and just different angles of everything. It's going to be a bit of a project to get fit up. I think the simplest thing to do is to start with a bottom pan that can get uh, riveted onto the bottom of the air cleaner. And that, I'm guessing it should just probably come out maybe two inches all the way around the base. And then on the sides, I'll just run it straight back. And because of this uh, seal lip here, maybe I can put a bend across that back to you know, seal off the bottom. That might be the easiest place to start. And then the sides are really gonna be the hard part and for sealing up the tops, you can either get some uh, weather stripping like this to run on the sides or just put a flat on there and it can run some, you know, something with like a sticky back foam or something like that just to seal it off to the hood. But the hard part's going to be figuring out to get that spacing to the hood. This is why this ends up being so difficult is as you can see right about the back of the air cleaner we got a little bit of a curve up to get it to match up with the cowl section here and that is not just one curve but then we have the hood which is going to be curving along a lot of this distance and I think it's only really flat from about here back on the top. Why this is difficult is I need to figure out what shape this side needs to be to wrap around it. And you gotta kinda have the hood on for that, but also you can't see any of it with the hood on. So I'm gonna have to figure out a plan here as far as how to make that happen. And we'll just 
I don't know, it's going to be tough. I'm just going to have to figure it out here. Um, this is a large part of why I don't have a plan. I mean, it's all the work I went through just to make the base, and that was the easy part. So, yeah. Not sure how well this is going to work, but I've got a string on there. See, it's going from the windshield over to a jack, but the point is that it's lining it up with the hood angle. So here's what I got going on. I'm going to use cardboard to figure out what size the sheet panel needs to be. And the front is going to be kind of a see how it goes. Um, I might just measure out what the distance is here and eyeball what the height is going to be and because that's this plane of the hood is going to be staying the same for the most part it might end up curving down a little bit more um, I'm just going to have to see how it goes with that one and maybe do some uh, trial and error fit towards the end the big thing is, is I'd like to do that out of a single piece that way I can weld it all the way around Oh, this is where I'm at right now. This is not going smoothly at all. Especially trying to weld and tack these things on the outside of the thin plate to thin plate, especially on the outside, like it just immediately finds some contamination and bubbles up and it doesn't want to stick to each other. And, oh. But if I can get a couple of tacks on, and then I can switch over and I can actually run a okay bead along the inside at which point then I can flip it over and then just fusion the outside by melting it together but what a pain in the butt this would be right now touching on this side and all the way down up till about here somewhere and then I'm not quite touching it's close though if I push the hood down a little it definitely seals so I wonder so if that's being held up on that side, which it is. I don't know if you can see that. We're being held up just a little bit on this side, so I bet if I trim this side of the box, air box, down, it'll get the hood to sit a little flatter, and then we'll get the driver's side touch too. Just finishing up the air box. Added these close off plates on the back and these little like winglets just to stiffen them up and give them some rigidity. Otherwise, I pretty much expect that these would have vibrated around a little while and crack the weld and fallen off. So, with a little bit of extra bracing, they should have a much better chance of staying on there. Kind of want to do something like a heat shielding wrap on this just for you know keeping the thermal transfer down however this is a you know it's a pretty lightweight piece of aluminum and really for the amount of air that the engine should be 
taking in, especially at speed, it uh, I don't think it'll make much of a difference. Um, I do have some stuff to put on here, however, I don't think I want to quite yet, just to see how this is going to hold up. So like I said, there it's a lot of vibration. You know, the welds might be crack prone, so I don't want to, you know, put a significant amount of money worth of heat shielding or wrap on this thing only to have to either start over at some point or cut a bunch of it off so I can repair it. So. Pitch straight down to the bottom right here. So we can trim a little bit out. But it's not very pretty. I should probably just turn it down at this angle anyway. fitting pretty good other than a little bit right up in the corners on both sides there you can see that one a little bit better we got a little bit of gap but then the like little crown there in the hood runs all the way down there's a little bit of an air gap at the very very front from that too but I mean we're 99% of the way sealed off Here's how I'm finishing up sealing off the cowl. Just glued in a couple pieces of aluminum that are big enough to make a radius that'll meet up with the seal. And one flat one right down here. It actually worked out pretty cool. Like I could just see the edge of the seal touching below this first fin. So like it just clears on both sides. So ends up right there. We'll be able to seal this cowl completely off and be able to have a proper cold air induction for the car.